So, I was expecting a summer Kiara buff, and that didn't happen. Do I think uh, Kiara needed the buff over Tomoe? I'm not high right now. I'm not high right now. She needed the buff significantly more than Kiara. I've used Kiara in so many CQs. I know she doesn't need a buff over Tomoe. Tomoe has always had issues refunding, and it's because all of her car buffs are always one turn. Even on, her, at least she always has one, but the values for it has always been just too low. She is, since her release, she has just, just been heavily reliant on Castoria or critting after the MP because someone didn't die. That was pretty much the only way Tomoe was like consistently looping because her just refund wasn't there with black row now if you were using a 50 percent ce oh excuse me yeah if you were using a 50 percent ce or uh just starting with something that gave her like more refund specifically instead of more damage you probably were able to get away with looping with her but again you're sacrificing black rail or being able to loop better which for a lot of servants are probably not making up that damage which will also affect their looping too uh but that's neither here nor there let's talk about tomoe uh i like her design uh especially these two I'm not the biggest fan of this swimsuit but uh, i don't hate it but I really like the aesthetics for these two, especially her uh, Oni horns showing. Base attack, 9.5k. This is a good number for four stars. Uh, can't expect them to be shooting for 11, but pretty much anything above 9k is like fine. And if it's below that, you're going to run into damage issues. Gareth. HP, it's okay. She does have a guts. Yes, she has a guts. So low hp it is what it is but this isn't the lowest it's just not high if you get my meaning star weight star gen these are normal normal saber numbers Ugh, i can't english right now uh mp charge 0.55 percent this number is always synonymous with a three hit arts mp all of them are sitting around here and what do you know three hit arts this is part of the reason she doesn't loop as well as she could. Only part of the reason. The, re the rest is her own kit. But, like I said, this is a standard number. So it's not like she was purposely gimped. Like, they gave her a 3-hit R MP, and then they also gave her, like, 0.33 gain. Because then she definitely wouldn't be looping. She'd be much closer to a quick servant at that point. It counts. Uh, the gains for this are not great on paper, only because she is supposed to be critting on them. Like, she, Tomoe is definitely supposed to, like, if she sees blue, she's supposed to crit. Um, red, too. It, red, especially when you see, like, how much crit damage she has from one skill. Uh, and her MP, too. Cannot forget the MP. Uh, all right. First skill, you see this stun. Don't worry, she has a way to deal with it. Just don't get debuff forehead, easy. But guts, one time, three turns, 3k HP, 100% crit damage for three turns. And then she also gives her the Nighthawk uh, buff that in three turns, she's gonna stun herself. As long as her third skill is not used up, you will be able to stop the stun. But if any kind of debuffs happen before this stun, you're shit out of luck because you cannot cleanse it with Castoria beforehand. That's what treated as a buff means for this Nighthawk. You cannot cleanse it with uh, Castoria. You can cleanse the stun. You cannot cleanse Nighthawk. Second skill. Some people might have thought this is what needed the buff, not her MP. I would very much disagree because her MP also, I don't think was hitting that hard either. Uh, I actually don't know if they updated this yet. Yep. 
Doesn't look like it. And if they did, oh my god. But one time, one turn, 30% arts with 500% star weight. This is why I said, like, she's supposed to be critting on her arts card. Um, do not pop this. Like, if you are not going to be uh, refunding enough, don't pop this. Just, like, battery up instead. Because this, this by itself is a whole battery if you have an arts card in reserve and do not kill with the MP. You are going to pretty much refund your entire MP this turn. Um, the MP is going to get you close. And then this will, like, lit this arts crit will literally get you there. And it's pretty much a guaranteed arts crit. Because Tomoe has a 25 star bomb along with 10 stars per turn. And here is the debuff immunity to stop the stun from Nighthawk. Her kit is extremely cohesive. Like, it's not a bad kit. It just doesn't flow. It just isn't cohesive enough. Like, you have the general idea for a kit. Very similar to Yagyu, but like AoE. And just a little more and more crit, uh, more crit focused, but mm, it, like she needs like one more buff to like really make her like flow. But this this MP buff actually was very very helpful for her. Uh, Past skills, twenty percent debuff resistance and nine percent quick up. With skill reloading. This turns into a three turn cooldown. It's not 100% uptime, but if they ever buff this and make this a three turn arts buff, it will be 100% uptime. Or the arts arts buff. I don't, I highly doubt they would give make this three turn on a four turn. I highly doubt that. This would stay one turn. This would go up to three turns, but that is, you just got buffed and I'm already talking about another, another buff. Get mana loading and you have more flexibility with your team comp uh whether that is what supports you're running who's starting out in front uh when you're popping mps mana loading is never a bad thing for a farmer and it literally just makes your farming easier you have more options and if you go over uh 100 is what it is you care more about how you're starting and yeah as a crit servant, she actually is going to want extra attack just because you're going to do extra attacks with her, but it's not going to be the highest priority. Uh, extra crit damage, sure. It's not a bad thing for Tomoe, but it, this is not a priority at all. Um, and then anti alter ego damage. If you do not have pretenders, this is an option. And Tomoe, because she has so much, like, she has 100% crit in her own kit. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea. She could deal with it, but I do think there are just going to be better options. Okay, so uh, let me refresh real quick. Yep, nope, buff is not up, so we're going to keep going here. This is the second, my second take of this. So, original MP, arts and buff. Arts and Buster up 20% uh, for one turn, but happens before damage. Burn of 1,000 uh, and dot effectiveness up. Burn effectiveness up 100% for five turns. All this really meant was Honey Lake worked really well with Tomoe, and you didn't have to worry about like putting it on cards unless the enemy had a cleanse. Otherwise, you would have this burn up far longer then it would take you to get your MP back. Because if it takes you five turns to get an MP with Tomoe, what the fuck are you actually doing? How how are you not clicking Art Blue if it takes you five turns to MP with Tomoe? So, well, MP1 became uh, MP2. Or MP2 became MP1. See, 600%. 600%. Because uh, buffed MP. Burn is now 2,000 damage at base so this dot effectiveness literally went up by 2000 damage 
and the arts and buster up has ramp up still happening first thank god uh so then we'd have another issue if they actually moved it down but yeah so by the third turn she's gonna have 60 percent arts up from herself and 60 buster it's gonna go well with the 100 percent crit damage and if you happen to on that third turn do a mighty chain uh art mp quick buster that last buster card actually is gonna probably bite pretty hard and yeah honestly this buff just gives her more a little more flexibility in the mighty chain system too like the quick card isn't that big of a deal it, and a mighty chain for her isn't again isn't that big of a deal uh she more focus on buster arts buster or uh yeah more buster arts buster would probably be more to always mo that's level honestly not that bad proofs are probably the worst pain point for this whole servant uh other than that it honestly is pretty tame mats uh she needs only leaves and reactor cores but at least the reactor cores not a lot of servants are using this only leaves uh good luck a lot of servants use that hey kill mat and bonsi arts up 10 percent party crit damage up 15 percent so i went through the servant now let's go through the actual map because i actually did have this uh on lock this is a refund calc neutral enemies with uh double cast soria and shufu first turn she uses her second skill to get that little bit of arts and first skill she's able or second turn she's able to loop 100 percent on these health enemies hitting neutral uh and if you need to calc overkill it's just uh type in this damage the lowest three eight four times 0. 0.16 0. 0.16 because that's the first hit of her mp and this is the low this is how much damage um this is how much hp needs to be on the enemy for her to just get the first hit of overkill so on all three of these enemies she is not getting uh overkill on uh the first hit for none of these enemies she was getting first hit overkill this one maybe uh 13 one two three five seven times one point six this one maybe this one she might be getting enough overkill on uh but again any overkill issues especially when it's this small all you have to do is like one face card and you should be good as long as the face card doesn't kill like this is i'm surprised it's like this close this is holy fuck that is that is a giant middle finger if in farming she's not able to get that <laughs> imagine her re like she doesn't loop 100 percent she didn't do eight more damage uh but in that situation just pop cast story mp and you should be fine um yeah that's the thing with these calcs i'll even uh show the math for this one uh these do not take into account cast story mp so as long as you are able to pop it you should be able to break over um break uh looping thresholds a lot easier than uh without popping castor mp uh does that make summer tomoe better <laughs> the best aoe arts looping saber <laughs> fuck no are you out of your goddamn mind <laughs> all right so I, we already checked here I'm actually not sure if this is counting buffed, but even if it wasn't, uh, Jason is just a better looper. He's free at MP5. You don't need to level his skills. Um, and if you only have MP1 to Moe, he's gonna do more damage. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Like, what, am, what the fuck am I supposed to say? Like, Jason is a one star and he kind of loops better. This is this is misleading. I'm pretty sure Jason can uh maybe not with double with uh Oberon, but like double Castoria and Black Rill, he probably can do with like Chufu or uh Paracelsus. Maybe he even can do with Oberon. Uh I did check though with Tomoe. He actually is able to use Oberon in farming. They're looping is just she's not going to be able to do that with every single uh, node with oh, like she's not going to be able to able to do it with every single node. Uh, if she does not loop 80% in the first wave, she is not looping with Oberon. It's it's not going to happen. And the calcs I was doing on this node actually was showing that she'd have issues uh, using Oberon. Granted, these are sabers. She's not hitting uh, super effective damage, so getting overkill is an issue for her uh, when fighting neutral, but I didn't test. I'd rather test them neutral and see where they're running into overkill problems than test them super effective, and then definitely run into problems if you're fighting Berserkers. All right, that's to Moe. Uh, Today is more Honkai Day than FGO. So if you guys pop into stream, I'm probably testing up it or playing with the new character that came out. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.